We see the thoughts of the hero, now he is going to live for himself. School, study, rote learning, he will never return to it again, and will not study anywhere. At least that's what he thought. He is riding horses with a man, who points his finger forward and says that they are almost at the best Imperial Magic Academy, Einragerd. The man riding beside him Arler Long was very moved. He thought that he had become a useless old knight, but he had the honor of accompanying the young master and watching him grow into a fine young man, and now Einragerd was acting, as if the boy himself did not want to learn. He was unable to break his connection with learning, even in this lifetime. We see the guy's last graduation, the classmate is very happy that the school is finally over, and the young man himself cannot believe that they graduated with their teachers. He remembered what they called him to join the camping club, and he frantically denied it, saying that he didn't deserve to attend such honorary meetings, or how he promised the professor to finish his work by the evening, and he knew that he wouldn't get any sleep again today, just as they had eaten the same kimbap for weeks on end. His classmate is sure that every student goes through this, but the guy is somehow different from them. He walks with his friend, they chat about life, he asks if he wants to get a second education because he believes that student life is very suitable for him, the young man denies that this is too much for him. He goes out on the road and continues that he was just doing his job, and he will never study anywhere else, but is going to live for himself, and will not approach any other educational institution. A truck flies behind him, the man behind the wheel tries to brake, but the brakes fail. The boy in a stupor looks at the car that is flying at him at great speed, the truck hits him. The certificate, the diploma, became just useless pieces of paper, but his decision remained unchanged even after reincarnation. He was reborn as a boy, Lijan Vardanas, the third son of the house of the empire's main magical lineage. He remembered everything from the past, the fact that he was reborn in a very powerful and rich family brought tears. Probably he was rewarded for all his efforts in the past life, and this is his chance for a peaceful existence. But he was so wrong. The first rule of the new family was that the first son gets the inheritance, and the rest must find their own way in life. We have two goals in front of us. One of them is held by a man, and the other by a young gentleman. A man named Aura Long can't believe that the boy himself asked to teach him how to use the ball. He thought it would be useful, and there was nothing else to do. Fortunately, the family supported their sons in all their endeavors. The boy wants to become a magician, not a knight, he thinks it will be best. He asked the man if his answer was too ambitious. The man said that he admired the boy's intelligence, and most noble children are unnecessarily ambitious from a young age, and he is already planning a prudent future. In the knight squads, in the adventurer guilds, even in the imperial family, an experienced wizard is always welcome. A person who has passed the path of a graduate student cannot but be a realist. There's a place that trains people who want to become mages, and that's the Imperial Grand Magic Academy Enrogard. We go back to when they arrived at this academy. He understands that he still does not want to study, and he will have to endure for several years. The man says that he can do anything, even the patriarch praises his talent. The young man does not believe in this because he forbade him to practice magic, because it is dangerous for children. Then the man with the horses is forbidden to go further, he stops. Behind the guy, carriages pass by, voices are heard from them, telling people to disperse, because they are carrying honorary people, the daughter of a duke and the imperial son. The young man believes that a lot of people have gathered, because Enrogard is a place where a person must enter alone. Someone replies that this is all wrong. He sees a guy standing behind him who is very worried and angry that he won't be able to sleep without his servants. They're like arms and legs to him, it's the same as cutting off his limbs. The hero says that he understands the guy, and laughs at the nobleman. He runs up to some girl and says that in the name of equality, they even accept slaves. He will write a complaint from his family. The young man is interested in what they will say to him. The girl turns around and uses mind manipulation magic. The guy is remorseful. Since these people can use magic against the nobles, then the rest of the rumors that our hero has heard are true. Like the fact that this place is full of monsters, they will bury him in the mountains if he dies. The gates to the academy swung open. Someone said, Welcome to Enrogard, you stupid steelheads. The young man realized that this was the monstrous magical pressure that was rumored, headmaster. Everyone present froze with tension. The director told everyone to go in alone, but it doesn't matter. If they don't want to obey the rules, he will make them follow. He went on to explain why everyone was standing there, how idiots they should move and go in, and repeated the magic skull three times. It was our hero's first day at the greatest magic academy in the empire, but he had a bad feeling about it. 
Students walking down the corridor were indignant at the way the headmaster addressed them. The young man was addressed by someone. It was the girl, Yanner Makin, whose family, like Vardanyan, is a house of magicians. The guy was happy to meet her and asked how he could help her. It turns out that His Highness, the Prince of the Empire, wants to see our hero. I waved to him from the crowd and smiled. In such a place of development and socialization as this academy, connections are built on the first day. His Highness has more than 100 children, but even in the imperial family, the throne passes only to the firstborn. Most likely, the emperor does not support his children at all. We can say that their life is worse than the life of our hero. Together with the children of great families, how did the emperor's children appear? The status is lower than Yanner Makin. Why was she acting like this and helping some incomprehensible prince, the other students whispered. She invited the young man to follow her, who agreed because there is nothing wrong with making friends. He thinks that it is better not to make enemies on the first day. She was overjoyed and thanked him, so relieved that he was the first to agree. She ran to the prince. The young man put his hand to his forehead in indignation at himself and his stupidity. Guinondo 97, Imperial Prince rumor has it that he may be 101, but he is confident in his position. The desire to be in the top 100 is absolutely understandable, only here it has not yet grown. The prince asked if the young man was listening. He apologized and asked him to repeat it as he was in his own thoughts. He revealed that someone had rejected his offer. How could he have dared? The hero suggested that he simply did not know about his majestic origin. A grand background means a person of a prestigious class, he explained. The smug prince agreed. Now the guy thinks that he is not only immature, but also a complete idiot. But the boy continued to be indignant because they refused him, and now he's sucking up to a denert. She's an imperial princess or something, elegant and as befits a member of the imperial family. People are drawn to her, and someone is its opposite. He asked me to take care of his sister, but the young man said that majestic people do not mock others and the boy should think about it. He asked what he should do first. The guy replied that to begin with, forgive those who refused him. And if he didn't want to, he could challenge them to a duel. The prince was afraid and said that maybe they should not go so far. He forgives them, as befits a majestic prince. The girl admired the guy. He was able to curb his temper, although she, his relative, could not. He understands that they are related, but why is she trying so hard for him? The girl said that she would tell you about it later. Then the magic skull appeared and asked if the steelheads had enjoyed their conversation. Someone shouted that it was the lich they had seen at the gate. He is a creature, the result of a great mage's desire to conquer death. The hero was amazed because in front of him was director lich himself. He asked the students why he called them steelheads. The princess said this because the symbol of this year is steel. He added 10 points to her dorm. She was glad that there is a system of assessment of dormitories. But the director disappointed her and said that to become magicians, you need to learn to distinguish truth from lies. The girl was angry. The first year symbol is really steel, a material that is completely dependent on processing. A valuable resource that can be used in different ways. A material that is ideal for beginners. Someone in the crowd was startled and Skull laughed as they fell for it again. The real reason is that they are all idiots without a gram of knowledge in their head. At his shout, the entire crowd froze, no matter what. Even though he treats them like that, no one can object. Because in a place with such strong magical energy, it's hard to even move. But it gets a little better. The hero gets used to it. He stretched his shoulder and turned around. Skull continued that he was too harsh with those who found the strength to come here. He also noticed our hero. He was able to move at such a density of mana. The director was surprised. Everyone had to look at the door. On the left, it opened. It was a dining room with tables set. The director said they could enjoy the holiday and take a break from the long trip. Everyone was very happy. There was a lot of delicious food. White bread. Fat chicken smeared with vegetable oil that was boiled in wine for an amazing taste, casserole, and much more. When they began to eat, the food disappeared. The director laughed again. They were again led and added that it was time for them to pull themselves together. He had heard that when you become a lich, you lose something, and he was sure that the headmaster had lost a lot. The academy is the birthplace of magicians, and the biggest boost for a developing thirst mage. The lich shouted, and food and clothing rained down from above. He said it was their food in uniform. They were loaves of bread, plates of porridge, and grey robes. Principal tried to argue with the skull. He did not expect such a reaction. If you do not like lunch, you should learn magic and create delicious food yourself. 
And if you do not like clothes and a wand, use magic. These are the academy's rules. The director shouted at them. Some guy said he could ask his family for things. Then the headmaster said that the first year students were forbidden to go out, forbidden to ask anything from the older students, and said that everyone was free, wishing good luck to the steelheads, hoping that they would become great wizards. Lihan didn't understand why there are crazy teachers of such people in any place he knows best. His professor in the past life had the same glint in his eyes, the glitter of madness. The prince approached the thoughtful hero, and said that he did not understand how they could treat them like this, and how to live in such terrible conditions. The guy was still in his thoughts. He thinks that the lich is better than that professor. They provide not only food, but also clothes. It will definitely be better here. The prince was yelling at the guy for not listening to him. In the noble society, little is known about the Vardana's clan, as they focused only on magic, and did not have contact with other people, which only increased erroneous judgments about the clan. The prince was still indignant because his servants live in better conditions. He patted the youth's shoulder and walked on with tears in his eyes, inviting him to stay at his mansion whenever he could. Lihan thanked him for the invitation and suggested that we go to the dorm. The academy accepts students regardless of their status, as long as they have talent. However, to prevent strife between teenagers, the dorm was divided into four towers, according to the origin. Proud Blue Dragon Tower, the entrance is only accessible to people from noble families. Only honorary nobles, such as Li Han, or the imperial family, can enter. The Tower of the Unquenchable Phoenix, only for those who have dedicated themselves to the Sacred Flame. This is a place where only priests from different faiths can enter. The Tower of the Thunder White Tiger, it includes only those who are not weak in spirit. In this tower, there are children from knight families. These are knights and wizards, people who are willing to follow two paths. The Tower of the All-Seeing Black Turtle, only those who have infinite patience enter it. This hostel is the most diverse. Commoners, servants, slaves, buffoons, beggars, merchants, and the lower nobility. Residents of other dormitories ignore these people because of their low status. Most newcomers are intimidated, but there are always exceptions. The guy believes that they are the ideal business partners. The boys noticed him behind them and started to laugh, wondering why he was looking at them like that. The hero believed that you need to make friends with them because the best way to earn money is business, and to become a pro, you need to gain experience. A group of three people were discussing the lower level disciples, how they were even accepted here. Isn't he right? The guy said. Li Han was outraged that he could be rude to his future business partners. He told the guy that he was a jerk. They gave up everything they had. Forgetting about this, the guy is impertinent. The girl from the company knew that he was from the house of Vardanas, as was expected of a great family. When the atmosphere improved, all he had to do was make friends. The guys were afraid of his origin. Someone even shouted that no one should look him in the eye. It's dangerous. The guy was startled by their reaction. Someone kept saying that the Vardanas house has a dragon patriarch, and he heard that they have an ancient spirit bloodline. Lehan didn't understand their reaction. Does it look scary? The Yanner girl denied that he had the aura of a decent aristocrat. The guy didn't know about the notoriety of his kind back then. The prince came running and cursed that they had left him alone, and he remembered that he had asked the girl something. She replied that the reason why she was looking after him was because of his mother. That was when I was a kid. The girl indulged, accidentally spilled a drink on the empress's dress. She believed that this was the end for the Mackin family. Even a young age is not an excuse for her. The woman picked it up and said that it was okay. Everyone was wrong. She asked if the girl was all right. The girl's eyes were wet with happiness. The empress is actually very rich. She gives her money for being so friendly with the prince. A lot of money. The boy was startled. He didn't think so at all. But if it was true, he should be his friend too. The students went outside to the park. It's just an academy, but there's also a lake, a forest, and mountains. The director wasn't joking when he said that they should do everything themselves, Leon noticed. The other party was discussing whether they would reach the Blue Dragon Tower if they went here. A girl approached the guy and said that this should be their dorm. The young man didn't understand at first, but when he looked up, he saw and realized. It was a grey tower. A pitiful and small building. And all the inhabitants resented such a place. Prince said his servants' estates were bigger, and they wanted to put the boys up here. The guy thought that it would be quite cramped for them here. Entering the building was very damp and dark. More and more disappointed. The hero flew over and everyone around suddenly disappeared. What happened? Where is he? Someone spoke to him. Hello, little wizard. 
There were a lot of stars around the guy, as if he was in the sky. Lian realized what happened. This is expected from the Magic Academy. The dormitory is a magic tower. Ask where he can go. Someone told him that the young man quickly grasps. Right now, the only places he can go are a private room and a special meeting lounge, which means there are other places he can go. For some, it is enough to know only the name. But to get into others, you will have to try hard. So far, they can't go there. The director has imposed a ban. He asked me to send him to a private room. Someone greeted him at the Young Mage Academy and he teleported away. In the room, he found a book that said that in addition to the main subjects, he can choose disciplines at will. The final decision is made after the trial month. On one of the pages, it was written that magicians are people who strive for the basics of the world. Even if others offer help, everyone must make their own decision and go their own way. The signature at the bottom is from Ram Gonadaltes, so that's the name of their director. The academy isn't as difficult as Leon thought, much easier than graduate school, and the room has everything you need. He was the only one who thought so, while others did not understand how they would live in such conditions. In the recreation hall, the guys were discussing something of their own. The hero wondered where the others would sign up. Yanner said that she wanted to study alchemy. She was always interested in it. Her dream is to open a workshop and deliver her products to the imperial castle. She invited the guy to work with her. Alchemy is not an easy business. He said he would think about it. The empire's alchemy industry is very advanced. From spreading bad rumors about competitors to monopolizing potion ingredients, Countless guilds are using any methods in the war for market share. A stable niche for it is probably the best solution. He would like to choose a simpler discipline, so that it is easier to get good grades. His priority goal is to become an imperial officer, in other words, a civil servant. The main academic performance and qualifications. What to take absolutely all the same. He is sure that such a passionate girl will be disappointed with his answer. He said that he would try out everything for this month, and then choose, since you cannot take an important decision lightly. At that moment, the prince came running and said that his room had been robbed. There was nothing in it. The boys laughed, but he was still trying to prove that the thief was there. The next day, the hero read a book about the basics of magic, which is the main subject of first-year students, and each dorm has its own schedule. As he walked with the students, he noticed that they all looked sleepy and exhausted. The girl said that they wanted to sleep in normal beds, and the prince was indignant with his unstyled hair. Is it really that hard for them, he thought, compared to his previous life? Isn't everyone imagining that there's no lunch break in the schedule? He recalled from a previous life when a guy gave him an energy bar and told him it was his daily ration, and he asked them not to look at him like that, because he had to live like that too, but when they were done, there would be a feast waiting for them. Laiheen replied that he would kill him if he was too ramen. When the food was delivered, the guy was very happy that it was not ramen, but a beach bag. There was even a triangular kimbap. Remembering this, the young man realized that it was much better than where he was in his previous life. The lecture hall was on the first floor, and when the students went there, they were afraid whether it was a lecture hall because there was a huge blue man inside. It was a troll. Trolls are ferocious, dangerous monsters with a bad name, even among protected nobles, but this one was well dressed and didn't look evil. He greeted the students and told them to sit down. Everyone took their seats. The troll introduced himself as Garcia Kim, or rather, he was a half-troll. He knows their fear, so he asked them not to worry and grinned and said that he doesn't eat people, and later licked his lips and added until he gets hungry. He really will eat them when he gets hungry. The prince was afraid. The half-troll said that it was just a joke. He excused himself and began a lecture. The teacher began to tell me that most of those present had never used magic. It was dangerous, so only adults could use it. But all of them are now seeds that have received the title of steel. The purpose of this lecture is to enlighten them about magic and help them find an aptitude for a particular kind of magic. The path of the magician is a difficult and harsh journey. Teacher, he hopes to become their guide. So not all the professors here are as crazy as the headmaster. The half-troll started with the basics and asked what magic is. The girl replied that this is the desire of a wizard to change the world by his will. That's a good answer. And it's also about using magic energy mana as a fundamental force to change the world. So everyone traveling to the academy is talented enough to feel it. But to use it, they must go beyond that. They must summon mana at will and weave it together gracefully. Only then will the magic be born. It is usually considered that you need to cast a spell or make a movement. But what is really important is the will. Do not forget this. The teacher thinks that a little practice is needed. He calls everyone to try it and asks them to get up. 
He says to raise the wands and collect mana. He wants them to present light while collecting mana. Lahan is happy that practice has finally started. And Yanar is having a hard time. So that's what magic energy management is like. It's like driving a madly racing horse. And if you lose control for even a second, it's all over. The teacher says that while they are concentrating so that the magic does not dissipate, they must cast a spell. With a wave of his wand, he says the word light. And then a bright glow appears that blinds the students. They can say anything that comes to mind. But keep in mind that the shorter the spell, the easier it is to conserve magical energy. The guy learned the essence. The first is to collect magic energy. The second is to transform it with your will. And the third is to cast a spell. He waves his wand and it works. Although it doesn't look like understanding alone will be enough. Other students either lose their wand or something goes wrong. And the prince's mana moves on its own. The teacher helps him and says that if you lose control, you can harm others. But as long as there is a teacher who can stop them, they have nothing to fear and do not worry. If they have mana left, they can try again. There was a second attempt. But two-thirds of the students continued to practice. The rest gave up. Light is the simplest spell, but it usually takes about a month. And there are some things that students have to figure out for themselves. So the teacher won't tell them about it. With each attempt, the number of students decreased. After the fifth and sixth attempts, there was only one student left. And Mayan raised his hand and asked if he should continue. Because he was the only one left. The whole class was lying motionless on the desk. The teacher noticed that they were already on their seventh attempt. And even the outstanding first-year students were running out of mana on the fifth. Magical energy, one of the tribes in the east, is called her key. Scientists who like to show off call ether. And some stubborn priests like to call it divine energy. It is a power with many names. A source of magical power. Due to the mana cost of casting spells, novice magicians often face a lack of magic energy. But Li Han is fine. Despite the fact that this is the seventh attempt. When asked what his name was, he answered with a name other than that of his family. He earned the professor's favor by demonstrating the principle of equality. The teacher asked him to come up and give him a hand. Took the guy by the hand. He felt something like he was in a huge expanse of water. The professor froze for a moment when the boy was afraid that something had happened. The professor replied that it was nothing and went back to the lesson. Prince thought that the guy should be saved. Suddenly, she will eat him. The girl told him to be quiet for a while. The teacher asked the young man to come to him after the lecture. And he agreed. He continued the lecture. And everyone felt how quickly they had run out of energy. But because of this, you should not worry as you practice. The amount of mana will only grow. And its consumption will be less and less. Sometimes a highly motivated student loses control and gets injured. So they should be careful. She pointed out to the confused prince. And she doesn't eat students. At this point, the lecture ended. Everyone did a good job and she thanked them for the lesson. The young man came to the teacher's office. She wanted to talk to him about something. The teacher said that before that, she had heard something about him from the director. From this crazy lich, the guy was scared. He doesn't have to worry. The director looks like a crazy person. He's a good one. Although the students do not know. But he is very attentive. Every year, he tells the professors about new students. He talked a lot about others. But about Lehan, he said that he was very stupid. It would seem that this does not mean anything. But in the East, there is a well-known saying. The wise man is stupid. Only on the outside. Only a stupid view of the world borders on wisdom. Maybe the headmaster was trying to tell her that he saw a lot of good things in him. Wondering what the student was like, the half-troll thought. But she couldn't tell the guy that. She called out to him to tell him that he had great magical power. He's happy. But that's all they wanted to talk to him about. It's not that big. The teacher can't even imagine its limit. Mana is one of the indicators of a mage's talent. If it is not enough, then it can be corrected. Although with difficulty, a large amount of mana indicates complete freedom of action. Which means a great talent, Lehan realized. The teacher said that it's a pity to have a lot of mana. Isn't it bad? No, but you have too much of it, she said. She suggested comparing the magic energy to the water in this glass. It's easy to control. But let's say he needs to deal with a large volume such as the sea. It will be quite difficult, isn't it? The guy was scared because controlling such an amount of mana, the main source of magic, is insanely difficult. She put a bracelet that absorbs mana on the disciple's hand. For the first time, it will help him. He thanked her. Now everything should be fine. But it was not so easy. If it was easier, she would not have called him. He should release most of the mana. He can do it alone. There will be no problems due to lack of mana, but he does not like this solution. 
He met with the guys, but he was desperate. His future is darkening. He needs to study well. He needs good grades now. He asked what electives the guys have. The girl replied that of course alchemy, and would they like to join? The prince laughed, because this is only for servants. Maybe she will tell the truth. Still strange. She clenched her hand into a fist and asked Vardanas to move away. Hitting the guy told him never to ask for a potion. When he was in the hospital again, he flew far enough away. Our hero knew a few things about fighting, thanks to his fencing lessons with Arlor Long. But in his eyes, this blow was 10 out of 10. On the way to the basic alchemy comprehension class, he asked the girl if she didn't think it was wrong to hit like that, and she said that she would apologize tomorrow. It wasn't the first time she'd done this, he thought. There were many students in front of them, especially the students from the Black Turtle Tower. He doesn't care, but he is worried about their gaze. When a commoner meets an aristocrat, one of two things usually happens. Either they don't want to mess with them, or they show hostility. The kids whispered that they shouldn't stare at him. But what could he do to them in school? If he acts too friendly, it won't lead to anything good. Someone asked if everyone had come. The young man turned his head. He saw the director and Professor Haftroll. It would be fine if someone came out. The guy fell silent. In front of them was a short man with a beard. He was a dwarf. His name was Ergom Gaidar. They can just call him Professor Ergom. He's sure they're wondering why they're all gathered on the field without a single desk. The girl assumed that it was to feel the mana of nature, because the consciousness of the force of nature is important for an alchemist. The professor did not agree. Then the girl got angry. The guy said that it was to collect the ingredients. This answer turned out to be correct. The girl looked at him with a malicious look. Should he miss the fact that he just pointed at the sky? He thought that only the girl wouldn't compete with him because of this. They gathered here to learn what it takes to do alchemy. Most of them probably think that alchemy requires only intelligence and the ability to control mana. In fact, a necessary skill for an alchemist. The ability to collect ingredients. Yanar wrote everything down in a notebook. The princess said that the materials can be ordered or grown by yourself, saying that collecting is the most important thing is not enough. She did not finish. The professor was very angry. The guys started whispering. The princess is right. They shouldn't do this because it's weird. The professor shouted at them that they knew nothing about the real world, sat down in front of the sprouts, said that they could not grow themselves in 10% of the required materials, and the purchased ones could not be used at all. The reason they travel with adventurers is because they are utter cretins. When it comes to digging up priceless herbs, they turn into real fools. The alchemist should be able to mine the materials himself. If they don't learn it, they won't achieve anything. The professor hopes that he has explained it clearly. They have moved on to practice. After giving out the leaves with a picture of the plant, he told me to bring it to him. Despite all the prestige, there were a lot of unpleasant rumors about him. Dohawk. This is a plant for making antidotes. Yanar had run into him before coming here. One such rumor was that students were dying from using magic. Of course, magic is dangerous. So accidents are possible. It's completely incompetent to send children to such a place. It was a dangerous place for two people. There should be at least three of them, they reasoned as they sat in the woods. They talked about the princess. It would be difficult to be on the same team with her, and besides, she had already assembled her own team. There were students from the Black Turtle Tower here, although they avoid our hero. The girl said that the princess was popular even before entering. Among the royal family, she is known for her extraordinary intelligence and talent. She has a special charm that attracts other people. So many people, regardless of their status, follow her. They needed to assemble a team. Only the Black Turtle Tower disciples were left. Even though they hate the guy, it's too dangerous to go together. They need someone who can cover their backs. His eye fell on Nelia of the Black Turtle Tower, a dark elf from the Shadow Guard patrol from the northern part of the Empire. The Shadow Guard is made up of experienced hunters and scouts working in the northern mountain range, and they know these mountains like the back of their hand. The forest is like a playground for her. It's amazing that there are so many outstanding students among the newcomers. But now is her time to shine. The boys came up to them. The girl introduced herself, and Lihan said he was glad to meet her. They asked her to go with them, to which the girl got angry, thinking that they were up to something because all nobles are the same. They call them savages, even when they are hospitable to them, and still complain that we are disrespectful to them. Why would these guys suddenly be different? The young man explained that it was dangerous to walk alone in case a monster attacked her. If he didn't need their help, he asked her what it was about, hoping she didn't think they'd use her as bait and leave her. The girl did not understand how he guessed and replied that she wanted to go alone. 
it is unwise to go alone to the forest. Moreover, she does not know what can happen. She still needs to collect and bring herbs. He's sure she's not stupid and doesn't think she can handle this all by herself, and she's angry. She shouted at him to be quiet. She would go with them. Yanar was surprised and wondered what the guy's family taught him, since he could talk like that. The girl was walking in front of them. Yanar admired her. She really is an experienced hunter. How did the young man find out? She had well-developed calf muscles, and judging by the calluses on her palms, she often shoots arrows, which proves that she has experience in hunting. The girl looked at him and wondered how he could understand it from such small details. He has a strange aura, as if he sees through people. The guy was joking because he just noticed the shadow guard badge on her belt. The guys did not keep up with the hunter, asked her to slow down. Only Yanar can distinguish herbs in the team. If she is not with them, they will not be able to find what they need, the girl reluctantly agreed. And also notice that the girl distinguishes herbs. She is their guide. Then what does the guy do in their team? Even though he knew he really wasn't doing anything, he said he was here to protect them. The girl reasoned that he was well built, probably from a knight's family. But why was he in the blue tower? He replied that from the house of Vardanas. This is a chance to get closer. The huntress was very scared from such information. Lehan is surprised by her reaction. Is there something wrong with his family? Usually about famous nobles? There are always rumors, but especially strange things are said about Vardanas, Yanar said. The patriarch of the Vardanas dragon family. During one crazy incident, he burned all living things to the ground with his breath. A long time ago, the Vardas clan signed an agreement with the ancient spirits, thanks to which all members of the family are gifted with magic. But the price for this was the loss of feelings. Therefore, the ruthless family, a mage from this family who appeared during the uprising, destroyed an entire city. It's really strange to think of them as monsters that destroy everything. But if something happens, great magics will appear. The young man suggested. That's right. So there's nothing to worry about. The girl replied to him. The huntress hadn't heard about the rumors, but it didn't seem like there was anything to worry about. This guy definitely wasn't insensitive. She thought as she looked at the whining Lehan. They continued on their way, but at some point the girl noticed footprints. Judging by the not deep tracks, this someone tried to be invisible. I wonder who it could be. No one answered her enthusiastically. It's time to get used to someone outside of her village being interested in such things. But when the guy approached her and became interested, she was shocked. He comes from such a family and for some reason is interested in wildlife. But she said that you should be careful when you notice this. Not only because it has huge footprints, but also because it is difficult to guess who will appear in this place. She had heard that all kinds of monsters lurk inside the academy. This land is filled with mana, so the appearance of many monsters here is inevitable. Of course, there are still a lot of monsters that have emerged during experiments and rare slugs created from discarded magic potions. It's definitely not safe here, the frightened boy thought. They should follow these tracks, so they will reduce the risk of being ambushed. The young man asked to teach them to distinguish. It is not easy. He can give up halfway while he is studying. He said that he would do his best if the huntress would help him, and she agreed. After much searching, they finally found Dohawk. Yanar was upset that there were only two things, but she was sure they would find more soon, so she suggested that they move on. Looking at the shocked guys who were standing in a fighting stance and looking somewhere, she asked what happened. Turning around, she saw a huge boar. This is an unusual boar. It feels mana. The huge creature was running towards them. The guy had no other weapons, only how to use magic. He took out his wand. It turned into a huge stick, the size of the magic equipment changing according to the owner's wishes. The huntress admired. Vardanas is a family of the greatest magicians in the empire. He must have had some training in magic before entering school. If suddenly he can't protect them, he must grab the red-haired girl and run, and the huntress will take care of everything. Yanar was touched. Because the girl would do such a thing to protect them. In truth, only she is capable of it. Lehan thanked her and said that he was counting on the girl. What magic will the guy use to defeat the monster? When he was still 10 years old, he should have known that the sword and king are among all weapons, but handling other equipment is just as important in any situation. Only those who learn this will be able to concentrate their mana in the weapon. This is the aura level. The teacher did not tell the little one that only a few people had reached this level because if he found out the truth, he would be disappointed. He didn't understand why he was training his aura if he just wanted to become a magician instead of working in an office. So he said that training his body and learning how to protect it was pointless for him, he told the teacher. The teacher froze. 
The boy is definitely different from other nobles who only live in their dreams. It can help him reach the level of using aura. The guy remembered all the training sessions with his teacher and plunged a spear into the mouth of the predator, because of which he died. The girls were shocked. He just hit him. Where is the magic? Einregard's staff is so strong that it can be used in close combat, but it is still impossible to defeat a boar that has become a monster. The only reason this was possible was because Lehan had subconsciously used mana, and even though it was far from the level of mana usage, it was the mana that helped him survive. I'm very tired of the stress. Do lessons have to go like this and why students are allowed to go to such places? There was a commotion behind them, and they turned around and realized that it was probably another monster. Looking out, they found themselves on a mountain, and below them were the disciples who were being attacked by the second boar. The guy offered to watch because there are quite a lot of them there. They will surely cope. Ashen Dalkard shouted that he would fight this monster himself. His Dalkard family is famous for its exceptional ability to solve problems. If the guy's family for many generations consisted of advisors to the emperor, then their family consisted of premiers and treasurers. Since this guy is a Dalkard, he can be counted on, and apparently he had swordsmanship lessons, Lehan thought. He reads the monster like a book. He can't escape its calculation. Swinging, he hit the monster but only left a scratch on its body, which made the creature very angry, and in response, it hit the guy so that he flew several tens of meters away. The monster turned towards the two harmless girls, at which point the princess stood in front of them to protect them. The boar was rushing at them. She was thinking that everything should be perfect. As always, she would study its breathing during the dash. Suddenly, the boar fell to the ground. It turned out to be a lehan. It was attacking a boar. It was good that it didn't notice them. It was important to approach from the windward side. It was the first time he was counting on Nilia's advice in battle. The princess thanked him for his help and promised to repay the debt. Then he asked her for one favor, to tell if there are lessons where he can easily get grades. She probably has connections. How easy it is to earn good grades. The girl was surprised, not understanding what the guy means. Unless a person from such a family does not want to study or he checks it. Someone said that he knows about such subjects and knows better than anyone else. The guy felt an ominous premonition. He was trembling. Suddenly behind him, the professor said that this is alchemy. It looks like he met a master's degree professor from his previous life. He is no longer an inexperienced student. If one is passionate about alchemy, it will be true. The professor knew that the guy would think so, so he said that he could help her fall in love with her. He replied that he would look at other lessons. The student started whispering. As expected from his family, the professor is already running after him. Hearing this made the princess angry, but this is not something that is usually envied. He approached the dead boar and said that the lesson for today will be over. Unfortunately, the other groups were not able to meet these creatures. It turned out that he specifically allowed the monsters to come out on them because he couldn't just send them to collect ingredients. Today's lesson topic was the unforeseen circumstances that they would have to face while they were searching for herbs. The alchemist must cope with any difficulties, fight back, whether it's killing, dodging, escaping, or hiding. The students were angry at the teacher, and Yanner was upset that the professor did not need Dohawk grass. After all, they had come all this way for it and found it together. The teacher was surprised. He did not think that they would be able to find her. They are talented students who should attend classes. Especially Lehan should definitely go to them, the professor said to him as he came closer and put his arm around his shoulder. The guy knew that this was the end. Lehan accepted the situation. He said that he would try his best. He had always dreamed of studying alchemy. The teacher was surprised because the guy behaved quite mature. He would have rebelled at his age. Since he had killed a boar and found dohawk grass, he would give it a special privilege. He has a cabin near the woods, and he allows you to visit it at any time this semester. Does teacher want him to become a maid? He made it clearer what all newbies want. Of course, food. Of course, they probably don't think about it now, but in a week's time, it will be hard to survive on that food, especially for the children of nobles. His house is full of fresh food. There are even spices and vegetables that he picks himself in the forest. Lehan realized that this was a buffet pass, and he knew that alchemy was beautiful. The teacher released the boar. The students were outraged and said that they would never return to his classes, and someone thought that they would die in the forest altogether. Not to say that the hero was shocked, he was not even surprised. Now the most important thing, the guy grinned, is to stock up on food in the teacher's house. In the clearing in front of the house, they were butchering a dead boar. But for one guy, it's too difficult. He can't do it alone. Yanner ventured to help him. 
she looked pale. The young man was worried. The girl laughed and said that he would share the meat in return. The huntress was shocked. Would they really be butchering him? The nobles have experience in something like this. According to Nelia, she is a real expert, and Yanar is from a family that is familiar with working with ingredients. Together, they will definitely cope. The professor brought them a bag of tools, and they set to work. The huntress was surprised, because the guy was doing even better than she thought, unless they teach this in their family. After removing the skin, they need to cut out the flesh and hang it on wooden beams. They will need the guts for sausages, so they should not throw them away, the girl said. They need to prepare blanks. So the guy decided to smoke the meat, because no matter how cold the weather is, it will disappear. In this case, smoking is an excellent way out. The teacher is surprised that the young man has come so far in just three days of training. He could not have imagined that he would be doing this. The guy exceeded all expectations. Lian asked the teacher for butter and bread, and started cooking something. He was thanked for lunch. There was also a gift from the professor, jam, yanner he really liked, well-cooked meat and bread with delicious butter, beautiful nature around and good friends. Even if these three days were difficult, everyone was able to enjoy communication and get enough of delicious food. They had a lot of meat left, and no one knew what to do with it. So the huntress offered to share it with the other students from the tower. The guys agreed that selling meat was a good idea, but the girl didn't suggest it. Most of the students in the Blue Dragon Tower are rich. It won't be a problem for them. They are nobles, so they won't take anything for free. The guy wants to earn a lot of money and live a good life, and the girl wants to save up as much as possible for the sake of the workshop. They are both unusual, but so far Nelia does not know this. She was outraged by the decision of the guys, because they really wanted to sell meat. She grabbed the package and said that she would just distribute it to her friends, just like that. The two men told her that she might regret it, the friendship ends, but the riches remain. Sitting under the tree, the professor reflected that these three are talented students, but despite this, they are like a peacebreaker. They will become his headache. We find ourselves in the vainglorious Blue Dragon Tower which is located far from the main territories and welcome students with fresh forest air, but today was an exception. The students noticed that the smell was different, and it turned out that Yanner and Lehan were cooking meat. Everyone's eyes lit up, but there was one thing, but to get a piece, they need to pay two silver coins. Although the guys put the price three times higher than everywhere else, they were able to sell a lot. Although where else would the students be able to eat meat? The guy and girl laughed viciously, they were in a winning position. The prince was sitting on the steps, starving to death, and he saw meat in the distance and immediately ran over. The young man greeted his friend and offered him food, thanking him for the food. The prince started to eat, but Lehan immediately stopped him, asking him for one silver coin. The prince wondered if he was taking money for food, since the pride of the nobility didn't allow him to feed people for free. But the boy now had no money when the guy took out a loan agreement and asked to leave his signature. At first, the prince clutched the pen in his hands as if in anger, and then burst into tears and said how kind his friend was and how he was friends with such a nice guy. He knew that he had a flair for good people, this is the real friendship for him. That was the end of a good day for everyone. There was a lesson on the basics of magic personality education. None of the nobles understood why they had to learn such a thing. They were perfect. It turned out that their teacher for this lesson will be the director himself. He noticed that the students finally managed to eat, they could find food after a month. One of the students was indignant and tried to object to the headmaster, but he magically silenced him. He is glad that the students have understood, even though they recruit students every year, the Blue Dragon Tower has always been the slowest, and the Black Turtle Tower has always been the fastest, followed by the White Tiger Tower. Compared to the others, the Blue Dragon Tower always takes a long time to get used to the changes, as they have never had to experience hardships. He was impressed that the students had already come to terms with this.